really happy for my players and, and proud of my guys. This was uh, this was you know a hard fought game, and uh, I thought Wake played really well in the first half. Uh, a lot of credit to them. Um, came in here and just playing with confidence. They played very well in their win against Boston College. I think it carried over. Um, you know, defensively we weren't quite as good in the first half, um, and some of that was was their offense. They had. Um, Good execution. They got a couple offensive rebounds and scored. Uh, Saar made, you know, some tough shots. He's a talented scorer. He can you can be guarding him well, and he just turns and shoots over you. Um, you know, second half I thought we played pretty well. Uh, offensively, I thought we executed great. Um, you know, it's always challenging when you're playing against a team that's playing, you know, 75% zone, um, and you haven't faced it that much, and so it's a little bit of a unique matchup that. Um, you just have to deal with it a, a little bit more than usual. And a lot of times in games, you'll see one for eight or 10 possessions. And, um, you know, we had to deal with it. I thought the second half, we really did a good job. And uh, happy for Hunter. Hunter's been playing well. Uh, I've kind of told you guys, I think he and Kern have played, played better for us after the break. And I think it's really helped our team. Uh, their scoring and confidence is, is, uh, has helped us. And uh, just really happy he's, he's an ex- – Extremely hard worker, and and uh, you know he's starting to do more things. He's finished plays around the basket now. His strength and the weight training and and added weight has helped, um, and that's partly um, helped his confidence as well. So he's playing at a good level, and and uh, certainly was uh, man of the match for us today. A little bit of an oddity that six or six teams from the free throw line still Yeah, I mean, we uh, we haven't shot it well the last couple games, and and. Uh, Prior to that, we've been doing okay, not great, but but okay, and um, you know we got to do better if we're going to win these games. It, it puts too much pressure on you, so um, you know hopefully our guys will make a few. We shoot them in practice, but uh, it's different in a game, and so now you just got to get up there and knock them down. How important was that after you had the three-game winning streak and then the struggle in from state, not to let that yeah. snowball? Yeah, I mean, you just you always want to win the next game, you know. Um, you know, I think it's different. Kids are a little different now. You know, our guys. Um, you know, it, it, losing doesn't sometimes bother kids as much as I think it should. Um, you know, and so even though we played very hard against NC State and um, had some chances, um, you know, I just you know sometimes guys are ready to get past it. It's a little bit of the. AAU mentality where you play four games in a day. So if you lose at nine o'clock, you're playing at one. And if you win, you play at 12. So, it, you know, you kind of get numb to it. And I think as a coach, you got to remind your guys that winning is hard, um, but losing is, is not acceptable. And, uh, you know, that's a fine line. It's, it's challenging now. And, uh, you know, but we, uh, we talked about it a lot after the game. And then we talked about it the next day. And uh, I thought we had good spirit and a good practice. And, uh, you know, I thought Wake just played better than us in the first half. And uh, we didn't play great. Uh, some of that's credit to them. I thought they came in and were aggressive and played well. And then I thought my guys did a really good job. We won the last couple minutes of the half, got some momentum. And then I thought we played a really good second half. So um, give my guys credit for that. You know, our guys have done a good job. We've had several comeback wins now where we've been down double figures and been able to find a way to hang in there and find a way to win. Brad, I'm sure you probably get this all the time, but what do you think <clears throat> has changed from that Miami game on New Year's Eve to what you guys are doing right now? Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, I don't, uh, confidence is c- certainly part of it. Um, and then, you know, I think Clyde being in some of these games, you know, I know he was in some of them, it was in the Miami game, but just, I think Clyde being in there late has helped settle us down a little bit. Um, you know, he hasn't played great all the time, but he does do some good things for us. Eight rebounds, four assists, one turnover tonight. Um, you know, he's got to keep getting better for us to beat, you know, high-level teams in this league. He's going to have to play even better. But um, I think that's helped. I think we've just – we've gotten better as a team. We've made a few adjustments as a staff with what we're doing. and That's helped a little bit. Um, and then we've been fortunate to win a couple close games. Yeah, yeah, it's going to take away some of the stuff that you do, and it made it a little harder on Amir. Uh, and then Amir's, you know, dealing with a seven-foot guy in there, and so 
It's not quite as easy for him to be as successful. Um, you know, he's got to find other ways in this game. I thought he, he, you know, he 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 didn't do enough inside, and we got to challenge him. Uh, he he wanted to pop around too much, and and I think he could have done more inside, and we've got to demand that from him. It was huge. Yeah, I mean, we didn't, you know, um, you know, we we don't have a lot of prolific scoring, um, so it's it's hard for our team sometimes. Uh, we've got to kind of use everybody. You know, we got a line tonight where we got one guy with 21 and seven, nine, 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 five, seven. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of our team right now. We, you know, it'd be nice to have um, three guys at 15 or more, and we've had that a couple times. That's how we, you know, we beat Duke, um, and that's probably what we're going to need if we're going to beat teams like Louisville and Florida State. And but that's not easy for our team, um, you know. And so we we've, we've got to figure out what we can do every night to kind of put some points on the board, and sometimes it's going to be different guys, different matchups. Um, today it was Hunter Tyson's day, and he played really well. <clears throat> just Yeah, I think it's just uh, physical strength. That's improved. Uh, confidence from being at the level now for you know a year and a half and not having a little bit of success. He's had some success, and obviously, you know, as a freshman, it was mostly shooting a three ball here now and then, and now he's driving the ball to the basket more. He's catching the ball inside in traffic and finding ways to get it in. Um, and it's a combination of everything. It's confidence, it's skill level, it's skill work, you know, getting him better as a player. Um, and then, you know, his strength has helped to be able to absorb contact more and do more things around the basket. <clears throat> yeah, we, I mean, yes, our guys are in all the time shooting and shooting free throws and um, all those kinds of things. and. That's all great, but then there's seven or eight thousand people watching you do it, and it's different. Unless we want to have practice and have seven or eight thousand people watch our guys shoot a hundred, um, maybe we'll do that if, if th seven thousand people want to come. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, absolutely. I think you know you can't. You you got to control your process, right? You you've got to focus on what you can control. You can't control the outcome. Um, the outcome is right in your face, but you, you can't worry about that as much as you try to stay positive with your process. You try to have uh, consistency in your approach. You try to have uh, rhythm, you know, and, and obviously uh, you're going to do the same thing, routine, uh, to try to put you in a good place. And, um, you know, Clyde's working on that. He's been working on it. And, you know, he made one tonight that he really needed. Um, so next time he'll make both. Uh, you know what? I was a pretty good free throw shooter. I think I had one bad season. It got in my head once, too. It's not hard to do. I don't know. I can't remember. That's so too long ago. Right, I was going to say that, that stretch. Like you said, that stretch where you guys were go from down eight to down yeah. one in like a minute time. I mean, that had to take a nice bite out of the apple yes. and kind of give you guys a boost. Yeah, and then and then we didn't really capitalize for a while, and they, you know, scored a bucket or two, and then we had to fight again. But it, it gave us a little jolt that, you know, we're right back in this thing. We can, you know, we can win it, and I think that that was important. Uh, you know, we scored enough in the second half too to keep our crowd into the game and excited. And I think that's important. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Um, and then you got 12 more, right? Uh, I don't like that number as well as, uh, you know, it, it's hard. Um, you know, it's almost 70% of our schedule now. Um, and, you know, then you have other high major non-conference games. But, uh, you know, really you can't control it, can't worry about it. But it's, um, I don't know if fans like it, don't like it. You know, I know TV likes it. Um, for coaches, it's. It's really hard because everybody knows each other and it's just like it feels like there's more stress in every league game. That's why like finding a way to win a game like this is significant, maybe even more because it's a league win. Any more questions? Thanks, sir.